Hey everyone, welcome back to Dragon Ball's Adventure Advance. I almost said Dragon Ball Z. This time we're going into Muscle Tower. Last time we took on the World Martial Arts Tournament. So here we go. As soon as I find the right button. Alright. Seeking his grandpa's memento, Goku headed to the land of Muscle Tower. It was a terribly cold place. Goku had never known such cold. Snow saved him from being frozen solid. Snow's the little girl. Yeah, he was. And that trick comes in handy later on. Yeah, sorry about the slowdown, but this is exactly how it was whenever I was playing the game, so you have to suffer through it too. And yes, we will only be going through Muscle Tower. So yeah, I'm just gonna let the story read out, uh, be read out for you guys. And don't expect me to be voice acting this because anything I do will be bad. Okay. I may have missed a couple of things in here, and I'm not gonna lie about that. Because all I'm going to do is run through as best I can. Be careful of those little fucking things. I hate them. Hate, hate, hate the flying cameras. And Soul Gauge. Yeah. I get a better Kamehameha. Dive Kick is not as effective here. Stay away from the lockers. And... Ow. There we go. 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 Go! Uh, I'm doing so well right now. Yes, I know. I'm jinxing it. It's okay. Yeah, trying to go down those stairs with a dive kick is not anything good. So just charge these guys. Don't, uh... Don't do anything more. These guys dive kick. Because they asked for it. And this guy too. Pretty much dive kick everyone. It is so useful on get er, in getting in on just about everyone that it's not even funny. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I hate those things. Fuck those things. Fuck those cameras. Also, anybody offended by my cussing? You obviously haven't been around my channel too long, have you? Get more health. Don't like being out of the green. Okay. Do I miss something here? Nah, I don't think so. Nah, didn't miss anything here. But this is Android 8. And I figured this out way too late. But you're supposed to aim for the head. Aiming for the head is the only, thing, only way to do any damage to him. So... I'll spend most of this battle trying to uh, hit him in the body and just do damage. But, uh, yeah, all, only the ones that are attacking his head do damage. And actually, I'm wrong. That's not, well, it's got to be Android 8, but it's not Android 8 as far as I know him. Android 8 is an awesome guy. Aider? Yeah. He makes an appearance later on, too, but Aider's awesome. Okay, where am I going to figure this out, that, uh, the only... And for those of you just joining me, yes, I'm doing after commentary. There it is. I think I figured it out now. Yes, I figured it out now. Though, uh, I'm still screwing everything up. Yeah. 
I, yeah, no. Be careful of that, because I had no idea that his fist was going to fire there, and now you guys do, if you're going to be playing yourself. And remember, I'm playing this on normal, nothing extreme, nothing hard. Yeah, I couldn't go through there, I don't know why. No wall. I guess I do have a habit of rubbing my face on things. Hey, extra continue, yeah! And for those of you wondering, no, I don't actually have to use one in this in this run through. Yay for me! If you punch bullets, they go away. If you dive kick them, they do not. And yes, you want to run away from the red ones. You guys know that. Purple guys must obliterate. Act like Exodia. Yes, I'm a geek, it's okay. Otherwise I wouldn't be playing Dragon Ball on the internet. Yeah. Think about it. It makes sense. Look into your heart. You know it to be true. And here I'm just, like, desperate for any sort of food, so... You'll see me trying to, uh, take as few hits as possible. And, uh... Yeah. That's exactly why I hate those things. And now I get to fight one of my favorite characters. His name is Mercenary Tao. I think he got the better exchange there. I don't lock into his uh, pattern right away because, well, I never played this part before. As was evident by my fight against Android 8. And now that I understand his pattern, or his uh, types, I can actually do a little bit more damage. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how you beat him. Charge him, uh, charge up and uh, destroy him. But yeah, mercenary Mercenary Tau here. And you know I'm probably wrong. But it should be Mercenary Tau. Uh, Tau. Um, no, it's not. It's a uh, different assassin. Um, yeah. Wow, I am way off. I forgot this assassin's name. Mercenary Tau does come in in this arc, but not here. Yeah, like I said, sorry for the uh, slowdown, but that's exactly how I played it. So, <laughs> you gotta kind of deal with it, like I did. Taking out two of them was well worth the uh, frozen place aspect of it, and ow, this is starting to hurt. Okay, one more down, one left to go. Bam, and he's down. Good. All of the assassins from the Red Ribbon Army are dead. And that thing's gonna drop an apple I want, but oh well. Yeah, part of my thing about doing this after is so I can focus on the commentary. And the other part is, um, actually, so I can see if I missed anything during the playthrough. And it doesn't look like I have so far. Thankfully. 
because all I'm doing is going up and up and up and up and anytime I can rub my face on a wall you kinda have to do that because otherwise you miss out on secrets and uh, so I do yeah that guy just needed a good hit place that I can go. So of course you gotta explore everything and I found a sword. Hey, what do you know? It's the mercenary sword. And since I know now that it's not Tao, which I really want to get to him. He's one of my favorite characters. He's um He's the evil side of uh, Tian Shin Hong's master, and everyone who has probably watched like part two or three, I told you I couldn't wait to get the end to Tian Shin Hong because he is my favorite Dragon Ball character. Yeah, the man with the Jigen eye to up his key, and that's literally the only reason that he has it helps him to control his key. Then again, I might be re uh, remembering that wrong as well, but he is actually just a human. Not an alien or anything else, but he holds his own against Boo whenever Boo comes. Yeah, he holds his own against Super Boo. He's one of the greatest defenders Earth has ever had. Excluding Goku. Granted, if it had been just down to him, the Earth would have been destroyed. But, um... Yeah. I just absolutely like Tien. Hate Yamcha. Yamcha's never been one of my favorite characters. Uh, Goku seems like the Superman archetype of... Oh, I've got... So much power, but I'm so uh, such a nice guy. I'm not insisting that he's a he needs to be a bad guy or anything else like that. I just don't like Goku because he's the stereotypical. Uh, I can beat everyone, no matter what little part I can pull out of my ass to win. He's that guy and it kind of sucks. He's always raring for a fight, that's fine, I like that. But he's... He can pull a victory out of his ass no matter what, and it kind of just fails, in my opinion, his character. I really like him as a kid because he's so naive and he just sort of, he's still learning, he still, he still loses, actually. He's, he loses a lot. And I know people in the, people in the comments or people who've watched the, you're gonna go and be like, well he lost against him and him and him. Yeah, but it didn't last long or it was something because of, you know, something extremely out of his control that did it. Or he sacrificed himself to be exactly like Jesus. Yeah. Um, don't bother trying to hit the monster. Like I was actually trying to do there, and then I realized, hey, that's not gonna work. Also, don't go using the uh, Kamehameha all the time. It's actually not the best weapon for this. And you don't really take damage from him, so don't worry about that. You just gotta... Yeah, I thought I was supposed to escape here, and then I realized I was supposed to hit him. But yeah, don't use the Kamehameha here like I'm doing because I'm an idiot. I will be the first to admit that I'm an idiot for using the Kamehameha here. 
because all it does is get you hurt. Use your uh, fast attacks and go ahead, jump in on him, attack, because the Kamehameha does less damage than that. You can do a 7 hit combo doing 30, 40 damage a hit, or you can do the Kamehameha doing 30 damage a hit, and it's usually about a 21 to 30 damage. So, um, yeah. Also, pay attention to him. He will telegraph his moves a little bit. His charge time usually tells you what he's going to use. And uh, try to go for the top block as much as you can at first. Also, he won't hurt you like you've seen. Um, yeah. As long as you're paying attention, he won't really be this big of a challenge. See how I do a butt ton more damage without the Kamehameha? Yeah. That's exactly what you gotta do, because he's gonna take a lot more damage from just you running up to him and wailing on him. And uh, then you can just attack and attack and attack and... That was dumb on my part, I almost got hit. Jump. Jump off the wall here whenever he goes down. Yeah, the wall jump is something that the game doesn't really tell you how to do, but you just have to learn yourself. And now that I've learned that, I jump back up. And this guy. General White. From the Red Ribbon Army. I beat him up, get the mayor back, General White is defeated by Goku's attacks, and Muscle Tower is... Okay, I'm gonna stop. Yay, I got the two-star ball! Yep. And we're coming up to the end. I'm gonna say goodnight. And uh, next time, we'll take on this little cove here. Goodnight! Goodnight!